Do you like asking for heals and picking fights you can't win? Here's why now is the best time ever to play a DPS hero in Overwatch. Easily the most popular role in Overwatch damage heroes are the biggest hitters on the battlefield. After all, it's a hero shooter, that means you should get to shoot things, right? Well, yes, but also no. There's a lot more to DPS than just aim and shoot. Confused? Good. Then let's talk about why now is a great time to pick up a damage hero. At its base level, the easiest way to win a game of Overwatch is by killing the other team more than they kill you. You can talk about tactics until you're blue in the face, but the less time the other team spend alive, the more chance you have of winning whatever game mode you're playing. And you don't care what type of game this is. You're a DPS player, and you came here to take lives and hack off your support teammates, and you just asked for a heal at full health. As a damage hero, it's your job to pew pew your opponents until they die. Your tanks and support should keep each other alive and moving towards the objective, while you circle around the opposition looking for weak spots and terminating with extreme prejudice. And if you're one of the naysayers who think DPS have the easiest job, there's a reason last year's Overwatch League MVP was a DPS player. Flutter now moving over onto the Widowmaker, taking the clutch into his own hands. The headshot what? after headshot after headshot. Shanghai Dragons didn't even end up winning the Grand Finals, but their top marksman Fletter still bagged the most valuable player award, mostly thanks to his ability to wipe teams on the other side of the map with his eyes closed. Without DPS, you don't get kills, and without kills, you don't win matches. And that's why damage is the most important role in the game. But it's also one of the most saturated. Everyone wants to be a DPS, and it turns out, so do a lot of Overwatch heroes. There are a total of 17 characters in the game who proudly call themselves DPS. And to make things even more confusing, they used to be split into defense and offense. Until Blizzard said to themselves, why do we need to label everything? And decided to unite a huge variety of characters with completely different abilities, strengths, and weaknesses under the singularly confusing flag of damage. From snipers to shotguns to a weird ice gun thing, there's more than one way to unalive your enemies. Because of the sheer amount of choice, damage players usually like to try a bit of everything. Like an uncle at a disco buffet, there's plenty of options you'll want to try before just choosing Reaper because you think he looks the coolest. I mean, he does, but don't do that. Even if the huge choice makes things more difficult at first, each hero fits into a particular playstyle. Even the pros have their favorites, so having one or two go-to characters, depending on the situation, is perfect. Unfortunately, DPS is also probably the role that's at most risk of a meta-changing nerf or buff completely shifting the game. So be prepared for your main to change at some point. Widowmaker was a top tier pick last year. Not everyone who uses her is incapable of shooting straight, but recent changes to her health and range have seen her fall down the pick leaderboard. And honestly, the less said about the state of Bastion, the better. But overall, the best picks are the ones that deal the most damage and offer the most utility alongside their outrageous time to kill. If you prefer a mix and match approach to your killing sprees, then DPS is the role for you. But hang fire on your shotty there, Sonny, because we're not done, and you've got a lot more to learn before you pick up your first team kill. The varied meta means team comps can pitch you up against all kinds of weird and wonderful combos. So get your finger on the trigger, and we'll take you through which heroes might be your next main. At least before the next wave of meta changes make the character you spend hours with completely worthless. Firstly, let's address the skull-faced avatar of death in the room. Reaper was one of the original DPS heroes, and while his shotguns filled with the unbridled rage of his unfulfilled teenage goth phase are powerful, the truth is, he's not really that good anymore. His movement abilities and shotgun shells can cause issues for tanks at the lower levels of ranked, and combining his powers with Maze used to be decent in the meta, but he's long since dropped off at the higher levels, only occasionally seeing play in the Overwatch League. Unless your name is Doa, you play for Dallas Fuel, are in the top four for most eliminations, and second in total damage dealt, while somehow using Reaper for 20% of your time in game, then he's just not really a top tier pick. That's not to say the coolest character in the game is useless, he's one dimensional, which which means he's possibly the easiest DPS to pick up and play. So if you're just dipping your toe into damage, give him a try. Next, Overwatch's cover star is still dominating a full five years after she first shot onto our screens. Easy to pick up but hard to master, Tracer is not only a smart meta pick with high tempo abilities and easy to manage cooldowns, she's also the most picked DPS player in the Overwatch League. If you want to argue with the pros, be my guest, but if last season's MVP Fletter and Chengdu Hunter's DPS King and 2021 MVP candidate leave, keep coming back to Tracer, she's clearly a force to be reckoned with. 
She may have the lowest health in the game, but taking advantage of that is almost impossible thanks to how hard she is to hit. Working alongside another all-out attacking DPS hero like Ash, who despite numerous nerfs, is just about the biggest threat on the damage roster in the right hands, you can run a quickfire comp that tears through teams. Ash works well with her wide area of effect dynamite damage, and if you can mix in some primary fire headshots, even if you don't get the kill, your tracer won't be far away to clean up any survivors. But not every DPS hero is, ironically, built just to deal maximum damage. Once upon a time, Mei was a must pick in any Overwatch comp worth its salt, but recent nerfs have curbed her utility somewhat. A part of the old school defense category, her brand of slowdown abilities and chip damage were a nuisance to deal with, especially when combined with harder hitting characters. A favorite of Atlanta Reign's Pelican and potential future League MVP Doa, she has caused problems for some of the more successful sides in the Overwatch League in 2021 so far. The meta shift has unfortunately made May a bit more situational, but she's still a pain in the ice in the right hands. Echo, on the other hand, is an anti-tank beast with a little bit of utility thrown in. The final addition to Overwatch's roster took a while to figure out, but right now she's one of the hottest picks in the meta. Built around mobility and high burst damage, Echo is capable capable of eviscerating tanks in a matter of seconds if they don't watch their step. Focusing Beam is great for sweeping up kills after a team fight, dealing massive damage to heroes below half health, but her ultimate has some of the best utility in the game, allowing her to become another hero with their ultimate almost immediately ready to go. Another favourite of Shanghai's Fletter, even before this season, his players earned the hero a formidable reputation she'll likely carry until Overwatch 2. She's also probably the most difficult DPS character to learn in the game, but her utility makes her a great teammate for just about any team comp you, or let's face it, your more tactically minded teammates can think of. And that's before we can even talk about the snipers, Hanzo and Widowmaker, the more close range DPS heroes like Genji and Doomfist, and the hackers like Sombra and Symmetra. Look, like we said, there's more choice than you can possibly imagine, so keep our tips in mind and make like your drunk uncle and dive into the DPS buffet. Just leave Leave your bastions down in bronze where they belong and you'll be fine. With so many meta choices to make and plenty of off-meta options available to keep things interesting, there's never been a better time to play a DPS hero in Overwatch. Sure, you have to wait in 15 minute queues just to get a game, but the game lets you shoot people while you wait to shoot more people, so what's not to love? Plus, when Overwatch 2 finally lands, there'll be one less tank to worry about and even more players in the DPS queue for you to lord your superior skills over like the power and kill hungry goblin you are. Are you a support player tired of keeping your herd of reckless and trigger happy cats alive and just want some fun for yourself for a change? Or are you just a tank who wants to be easier to kill? Let us know which DPS heroes you'll be trying out in the comments down below.